Hello everyone, my name is Eric and this is another video to help you achieve your rendering and movie making goals with Dragonfly. Today we will continue talking about using multi ROIs in your images and movies, but especially using the measurement inspector. In this video we will assume that you already know how to generate multi ROIs through the different analysis tools and plugins, and we will focus mainly on how to display them properly in 3D. So here we have a cable dataset in which all the inside wires have been individually segmented and labeled in the form of a multi ROI. So let's go in 3D. As always, we will adjust the window leveling and we will also apply the grayscale solid preset. I will then uh, proceed to display the multi ROI in my view. Just for now, I will turn off the text annotation. I will change the camera and light position so that the cable is aligned vertically. Mm -hmm. And I can also uh, use the solidity slider to make the dataset more opaque. I can use now the clip box and clip the top off of the dataset, revealing all the inside wires. Now, the important part of this video is how can we use the measurement inspector to filter the multi ROI based on the computed scalar values? This can be very helpful, like to show only part of a multi ROI uh, within a specific range of physical attributes. So let's start the measurement inspector. By dragging the out window rendering opacity, I'll make sure that all the labels outside uh, a specific range of values will disappear. And as you can see, when I dragged the boundaries of the window, well, the theta, uh, the labels with theta value outside that, that window are disappearing. Let's go back to the Properties tab and reset the clip box. Let's start the Movie Maker tool. We can now use the clip box again to clip the top off. And after some adjustment, we'll create a new keyframe with that state. I will change the light position and punch in a new keyframe. Now, going back in the measurement inspector, I will drag the right boundary of the window until almost all of the wires are gone, and I will add a keyframe. I can drag the thumbnail to increase the duration of this transition. Then I will reset the window's boundaries and add a final keyframe to the timeline. I'm now ready to export my movie. 